welcome to a brand new episode of In Case You Missed It. This week, I'm pleased to be joined by Trinidad and Tobago senior footballer, Karen Forbes. Welcome, Karen. Hi, I'm elated to be here. Happy to have you. How have you been? I have been great, actually. Yeah, and what's the latest with the TNT national team? Um, right now, we're in preparation for the women qualifiers coming up. Our first game is in February, so, you know, we are out there working hard right now with our new coach, Kevin Jones. Yeah, a lot to get done and so little time. Well, recently, I was reading an article in a Trinidad and Tobago newspaper where you were calling on your teammates to work on their personal development and fitness. Can you talk to me about this some more? Well, I think over the years, um, one of the things that we lack in, a, in Trinidad and Tobago women's senior team is um, not being able to be fit enough to compete against the likes of, you know, the USA, the Canada's. So I think um, personally, we need to do our work. And then when we come to the pitch where the team um, assembles, then we do um, the collective work there as a team. Yeah, definitely. Well, you mentioned your coach just briefly a while ago. How has it been working under the newly appointed head coach, Kenwin Jones? Well, of course, you know, it's an exciting um, opportunity to be able to be coach under Kenwin, especially with the, with the wealth of experience that he has. Yeah. Um, thus far, I, I, I have no complaints. Um, we are always in dialogue. Um, he always keeps in contact with the players thus far, based on what I've seen. And, I am very much elated to play for him. Yeah, that has to be a pleasure working under him, especially for what he has done for Trinidad and Tobago when he was actually representing our country, you know, game after game. Well, how would you rate the team's performances in the international friendlies against the Dominican Republic? You are a part of the team. How was that? Um, definitely, uh, over the years, we struggle to get international games and we're getting some under our belt prior to the actual qualifiers and I, you know, applaud TTFA for that effort. Um, I think uh, definitely we have a lot of work to be done. We're supposed to resume training on Sunday and um, we, we just have to do the work and, you know, Dominica Republic, the two games gives us a gauge as to where we are and where we need to be in February. We have to be ready. Karen, personally, what have you been working on where your football is concerned, just for yourself? I've been working on my fitness. Of course, it has been two years due to COVID that I have not been playing. I played my um, first international competition in terms of professionally um, in 2019. So since then, I have not been back out as yet. Um, so it's pretty tough for me uh, playing my just four games we played Panama last month and then played Dominica respectively this month. So it's just four games in two years. It's pretty tough for me in that regard. But at the end of the day, I could only control the controllables. So for now, all I'm trying to do is work on my fitness and, and making sure that I'm ready to give Trinidad and Tobago the best. And best of luck in that for sure. Well, based on the current football set, set up for Trinidad and Tobago women, how far away is the team from being able to qualify for a World Cup? I definitely think that is not beyond us. Um, we had came so close uh, in 2014, and I think now that we are approaching this qualifiers, we're coming from a place of experience because we have the likes of Melia and Johnson, uh, some of the veteran players coming back in to, you know, really help and push the younger players for them to carry on the mantle in, um, in the future. So I think right now we come in from a place of experience and I think we, we have a really good chance and we're going to take this opportunity as it comes. Yeah. So on Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Caribbean time, you are launching your new book, Woman of Substance. Yeah. That has to be a massive achievement in your life. How excited are you? Well, to be honest, I am very calm. I have been calm over this week. I'm not sure... Why am I so calm? But I feel it's just like, you know, uh, I was reading a quote or I go by a quote that says that um, your last success could be, could hinder you, right? In the sense that you don't want to focus on your last success too much, but you want to be able to celebrate it and move forward. And I think that I, I am just pretty calm because I'm already moving, up, moving forward to the next um, big thing for me. What can we expect when we purchase this book? You know, what's in the content of this book? I'm very heavy on woman empowerment and I feel like, you know, women, we are settling 
right? Um, there's more. There's more. Long time when I was growing up, I used to be like, the sky is the limit, the sky is the limit. But, you know, as I build my relationship with Christ, I realized there's no limits. You know, um, and we are powerful beyond measures. Uh, Nelson Mandela is one of the leaders that I actually like, and I wrote about him in the book. You know, um, and by listening to these people who would have done so much, you know, um, it just shows me clearly that it's not beyond us. But Karen, for me, most times when athletes write books or they publish articles and whatnot, it usually comes at the end of their career. What inspired you? You know, you're still fit and playing for your country. What inspired you to write Woman of Substance at this point in time? To be honest, when I, was, when I got my first professional contract in Iceland, um, the place was so beautiful. And I realized um, when I look outside, words come to me like really good because of the ambience so i was like you know what i have some free time maybe i should go right in and when covid hit and i was home for two years like i'm presently uh, right now um i was like i think you know the lord later for my this is the time this is the time to release this book because i feel like a lot of people are going through a lot in this in this time and i feel this book could be a blessing in disguise onto a lot of at least not only at least but young adults to show you that even if COVID hit, you know, there's still hope, there's still life. Once you have life, you have hope and you could afford to do whatever your heart desire. Don't settle. Still go after it. Still go after it. And that's just what the book is about right now. Right. And I get the sense that Woman of Substance was born out of COVID and you are just showing us here that, you know, the pandemic wasn't all that bad. You got the time and you were able to create something beautiful with the time. That's correct. Yeah, this this during this time is is really tough on some people. But at the end of the day, as I said, I believe once there's life, there's hope, and I believe this book could be a blessing unto others. And that's what I'm doing. That's why I'm doing it because there's a lot of people need a, need guidance. Um, not ev everybody have a story, but not everybody choose to share their story, and I choose to share mine. Yeah. And Karen, you know, a question that I have, because I have a lot of problems, you know, trying. I have so many things that I want to get done, but the time to do it seems to be nowhere to be found. How do you plan, you know, to balance now promoting this book, pushing this book, and of course, excelling in your training? It might be tough, right? Um, definitely, you have some days that are very tough, I must say. Um, like right now, if you realize, I have a little bag beneath my eyes because I have been pushing. I have been really pushing uh, for this launch because I think, I really think that this could be a blessing. But the way how I see it is not about me, right? So therefore, if the work needs to be done, I'll rest after, right? Um, and time management is really important. And I think I learned a lot of that. Um, I spoke about that inside my book when I was in college, where you're balancing school and football. So, you know, academics and uh, your professional career or whatever, you may be doing at the time. It, it all depends on the individual. Yeah. So, yeah, you have to manage your time properly. Well, I just want to let you know that the title, Woman of Substance, it speaks to me. I definitely love it. I think that was an exceptional choice. And now I'm asking you to mm -hmm. tell us where can we purchase this book? What's the cost like, you know, so our viewers can find it? So right now, um, tomorrow to be exact, it should be out on Amazon, Barnes & Noble. And also, if you want a physical copy, I had brought in 300 copies. I am waiting for them to be cleared by customs tomorrow. Please go on. You can contact me at 337-8086 or you can contact me by Instagram, Karen Forbes 14 or Facebook, Karen Forbes. All right, Karen, are we expecting any more books from you in the near future? Definitely. Um, long time again, um, I always thought that, you know, football was it for me. And But where I put a comma, God put... <laughs> Where I put a full sub, God put a comma, and you know, this is the first book of many, and I have a part two coming short thereafter, probably seven or eight months after, and I'm looking to take this into a career. Yeah, well, I love to read books. I'm a literature lover, so I'm looking forward to read your book, Woman of Substance, and I will let you know what I think about it. Any word of advice, though, before you go for our young ladies tuned in, and they have a passion for football, and you know, they're not too sure if they should get started. 
Definitely. What I will say, and I think I will talk about holistically uh, for women in general. Um, I believe the Lord has blessed each and every one of us with a skill. It doesn't only have to be um, where athletics is concerned. But I believe once you believe in yourself and you're willing to do the work, you have to, you will succeed, right? And this is what I use. I use, but you know what I end up realizing on my journey in life? I had to find out what was my why. Why am I doing this? So every single time that, you know, the going gets tough, I remember why am I doing it? And because of that, I, it keep propelling me to go further and further and reaching different goals. Yeah. Well, Karen, I wish you all the best. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for your time. It has been a pleasure having you. And in case you missed it, I can't wait to read your book. And I mean, I can't wait to see you represent Trinidad and Tobago and light up that field. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Well, viewers, that's a wrap for this week's In Case You Missed It. Be sure to like, share and comment and let me know what you think about this week's interview. Stay safe. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.